welcome back to this episode of 5 Minutes to Better Bushcraft. Welcome back to this first episode of 10 Minutes to Better Bushcraft. Welcome back to this first episode of 15 Minutes to Better Bushcraft. <laughs> and however long it's going to be. Hey, good to have you on board. Nice to see you. Stick with us and I'll show you what we're going to do. There we are, eight. So it's Friday afternoon, an absolutely gorgeous day. I've been climbing all uh, all morning, and this afternoon, with uh, kids I work with in, in Crag, it was fantastic, beautiful to be out in the sun. And uh, yeah, what a great day. So it's a cracking spot, this. I mean, you might be able to hear the road. I'm not far from a road, it's quite a major road, but it's my local sort of dog walking uh, route. And uh, I do a little bit of wildlife photography around here because tucked away, there's all sorts. I mean, a couple of days back, Billy had a scrap with two otters in this river. Yeah, he did. we were on them before I even uh, had a chance to call him back. And uh, oh, it was it was mad, mad. If I'd have had my camera, it would have looked amazing. One of them come out of the water like a king cobra. And we it, it were crazy. It was 10 seconds of craziness until I managed to get him back. Uh, but you'll have seen the footage of the fox. That was just up here last Friday, a week ago. And that was just behind me. There's a river behind me, and then it crosses over and goes up through the woodland. And uh, I've got to know this sort of the way the way this fox moves around the woods and whatever. He has he has a certain route that he takes and where he's marking his scent and what have you. And uh, I know where he is at about half past four on a Friday night usually, <laughs> which is up there, which is where that footage is from. So, but yeah, we're going to do like short five minute, ten minute uh, bushcraft skills. So stick with us and I'll show you what we're going to do today. This is my bit of kit for today. I've got my Laplander because I've used my Laplander to uh, cut a couple of pieces of wood, a couple of branches of dead fallen. And I've got this little axe. Absolutely fantastic little bit of kit. Now that is sick, that is old that. I mean, uh, I probably first used that when I was maybe, I don't know. I was only young then, 10 ish maybe, or less than 10, I don't know maybe. It was my dad's. So I'm not sure whether it was my dad's dad's. So I mean that was like uh, 42 years ago and uh, we once took a lot of sycamores down, a big row of sycamores and my dad let me uh, chop all the little branches up into small pieces so we could uh, put them in sacks to, to get them to tip and what have you. But uh, yeah, great little thing isn't it? So that's just formed with uh, sheet steel, so it's like a knife blade really but uh, it's fantastic to use, brilliant and it's ace just using old tools. Especially if they've been handed down.
today's five minute, was it 10 minutes or 15 minutes? It's a better bushcraft. <laughs> so this week's five, 10 or 15 minutes to better bushcraft. It was about making, you'll have probably guessed it, tent pegs or uh, tart pegs, whatever pegs. We use pegs all the time, don't we? And I mean, you don't need to go for all that of, of making them out of one piece, but it's it's good and it can be advantageous. I mean, quite often you'll just get four pieces of wood, won't you? It's far, sharpen the edges, cut a notch, bang them in, bang, you're done and dusted. But it's quite nice when you're around the campfire. Occasionally you can only find biggish pieces. But I mean, for knife skills or axe skills, it's a brilliant thing to do if you're uh, with your kids or you're with a group or whatever, or even just yourself, just practicing. I mean, I just made them with that little hatchet without, without using a knife or anything. And, uh, well, you saw it, and it's really easy to make. And you get four proper good sturdy pegs. Yep. So in any of these storms we've just had, Desmond and all the rest of them, if you'd had your types and stuff knocked into the ground with ease, like, they'd have stood a good chance of staying in the ground without getting ripped out. I've had to get up many a times in the past where my uh, types been ripped out of the ground and, uh, and re-peg re it out. But something like that, it ain't going to go out, come out. So... It's a great little uh, way to do it and uh, took me about five minutes really then so you can soon rattle them off. So yeah, that's our bushcraft skill for this week. So anyway, and a great way to light the fire as well using the axe. So one tool, ferro rod, you can do all the lot. Anyway, look after yourselves. Have a fantastic weekend and uh, let's hope this nice weather stays with us and we'll catch you again soon. Okie dokie, so from Rick and Billy, have a top weekend. See you later. Ta-da.